that we know our uploader is working properly, now it's time to actually make this work and uh, render the image itself so that we can turn this into a good looking app. So I'm going to go back to the actual code and kind of close out of the form. And let's go to show first. We'll do show before we do the other one. So I'm going to do show. And you can see right now uh, it's calling image is just calling post the uh, the instance variable for post and then just calling image on it, which is fine. That's a reason why we're getting that big long URL. Now to fix this, uh, all we have to do is we'll get rid of this and we're going to say image underscore tag, which is a image helper. And here now we can call post dot image dot URL. So let's go back and uh, see what this looks like if I click show. OK, cool. So I mean, that's definitely better. Uh, it's this big old image. It's showing the, the full size image, uh, which is fine. However, uh, for what we're wanting, I'm assuming the full size image isn't a good idea. So this is where, if you remember back when we created our uploader and we created these methods called tiny and profile size, this is where this comes in. So you can copy profile size, come Right after image, we're going to call profile size on it. So do image dot profile size dot URL. And now if I come back and hit refresh, look at that. We have a very nice looking 500 by 500 image. And if you're wondering exactly how this works or you want to dive a little bit deeper into it. Uh, I'm going to actually get rid of all this and instead of having image tag and these things, I'm going to actually just look at what this uh, what this actually looks like. So oh, I'll keep uh, never mind, I won't get rid of it. I'll keep it here so you can actually see it uh, as I'm typing. So it, the way that when you want to see what uh, kind of is available to us, uh, do post.inspect and what this is going to do is it's essentially for lack of a better term it's going to dump everything inside post the post object onto the screen so if I come back and hit refresh you can see we have our image and then we have all of this text right here and this tells us what is uh, available to us in terms of what we're grabbing and it it's kind of interesting because you remembered when we did post.image it gave us something totally different, right? So if I did post.image, hit refresh, it actually gives all this. And this is because through Carrier Wave and all the different things we implemented, it knows not to just try to render that file like we did before. So if we do post inspect, technically, you would think that post image would just return this PNG, which it doesn't know that that even exists. And that that's why we have our CDN and AWS to do that part for us. So uh, if we do post inspect, that's what it's going to give us. Now, if we do post image inspect, you can see now this gives us a lot more helpful information right here. So all this is doing is seeing what's inside image. So it's checking this out and we can see if you've ever worked with APIs, this is the way they work. It's returning this big list of objects here and we have access to all of this. So you see we have carrier wave, it's telling us all the different things that we have available to us. And so I'm going to, and it actually has even more stuff than this, but uh, each one of these items, so you have everything from titles to uh, where it's from, all of this is actually able to be accessed. But now the thing that I want you to find, and I'm gonna copy all this over, because this is the way I usually do it when I'm debugging an API, is I'll hit inspect to give me everything, and then I'll open it all up here, and then start searching. So one thing we can search for is, look at that, if I type profile underscore size, it's actually hidden inside that API call. So here we go, we have profile size, and it's actually returning this to us, which means that we know we have access to it. And so that's how we know that we can call profile size right here, and then get the full URL, and then it's gonna return it to us. So 
That is the way that that works. You now know not only how to render the URL or render, render the file, you also know how to render a different size and how to debug the API, so great job.